I'm going to die. If I go in there. Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of Subnautica. Yeah guys, we got a lot to talk about in this episode. Um, first off, I got braces put on about four hours ago. So, if my voice is crappy, well, I'm not used to talking braces on yet. That's just how it is. In today's episode, we're going to be actually going around to all the wrecks, getting all the blueprints. So, uh, if I have them memorized where they're all at, just from my playthrough back when I was doing YouTube, back when I played through, I know where most of the wrecks are. So, we're going to go get all the blueprints we can. This episode, that's all it's going to be, is just talking and getting blueprints. Um, upload schedule. My upload schedule, I will try to upload every other day. So right now, I have Subnautica and I have Battlefront. Those are my two ongoing series at the moment. Every other day, I'm going to upload a video. And every other video, I'm just going to alternate each series. If that makes any sense. I hope it does. Um, but I'm going to try to stick to that upload schedule. Just because I like making videos for y'all, and the Battlefront series has been doing incredibly well. And, uh, yeah, I want to keep it going. But seriously, guys, I know it's not that much, just in general, and there's tons of other people out there that a few subscribers isn't much, but to me, that hasn't really grown that much ever since I started until this point, it's big. It really just feels good to get, like, a nice comment saying, hey, great content and uh, just a sub. That's all it takes. It just lights up your world, makes you feel so good about what you're doing. Because, I mean, even if you enjoy actually doing it, it's still nice to have somebody say, hey, hey bro, nice content. I mean, it's so simple. So I just want to thank you guys for uh, just kind of doing stuff like that. We're going to drop off all the stuff that we have right now and uh, Make another power cell so we have the power we need to actually get these spots, fill up our food and water, grab some uh, med kits, and we're going to head out. Alright, let's go in here and we'll dump out all of our crap. We'll fill up our food and water, I'll make another power cell, and I will. we will be on our way. Something that really is bad, our Seamoth Depth Module Mach 1 and the Cyclops Power Efficiency Module. We actually lost that when we died, when we got glitched out of the map. That is absolute crap. We got something that the game gave us, and then unfairly, we got it taken away. Just because we glitched out of the map, because it's that buggy, still on release. Alrighty guys, we are all geared up and ready to go, and the first wreck that we're going to be heading to is the Underwater Floating Islands. Which is, if I do remember, you just go this direction from the Aurora. It's going to drop off, and there's going to be a bunch of floating islands, and there should be a wreck there. Whoa! Is this one of the vents? What the heck? Hold on, I want to get a screenshot of this. Whoa! That's cool. Alright, let's see if we can find this uh, wreck. Oh, there it is. Hmm. That's not actually the one I was looking for, but it is one. One of the bigger, more important wrecks, anyway. It's one on top of this big, big mushroom. So, just looking at this, there's the door. Okay. Let's park it here where we got some light. And let's go. Passing 100 meters. Anything to scan. Decreased. Modification station. That is something we very badly need. New blueprint acquired. Alrighty. The biomass in the Power cell charger. Yes, please. Picking up faint. Altera vehicle signatures. Alright, so there's Altera in the area. 30 seconds. Light stick. 
Man, we really need a rebreather to be down here. This is absolutely horrible. Cyclops hole fragment. There we go. Oxygen. Man, this is bad. We lose oxygen so fast. Definitely gonna move down here closer. Yeah, it's no messing around at this depth. What else? Come on, give me something. That it? Can't even see what's going on. Can't cut through that door. There's nothing even in this room. Alright. 30 seconds. That door doesn't go anywhere. Let's go up for oxygen. We'll come down and look one more time. Thought there's more. It looks like there should be more. If I'm being honest. Let's get our light out. There we go. Come on, game. There should be more to this. Apparently not. Okay. To the next wreck. Alrighty, guys. Looks like we found the wreck we were actually looking for. Finally. It actually wasn't too far. I just kind of went in circles a lot, and uh, I make everything a lot harder than it actually should be, probably. Anyway, we're here now. Nothing in these boxes. Um, there we go. Drill arm. We get the prawn suit. We get this. We get some of those big deposits. Actually get some serious uh, resources in. A lot easier. Looks like... Thirty-six erosion patterns on the land masses suspended here suggest they once floated on the surface. Yeah, this was probably once like, uh, what you call it? This was probably once like the actual floater island is, uh, right now. It just kind of fell into the ocean. Like, something I'm thinking about, like, what if all the floaters die? This is what happens? Because, I mean, they're animals. They're alive. So they're going to die eventually. I mean, even if they live a long, long, long time, like, I don't know, turtles or something, they're still going to die eventually. But, uh, yes. This one, I'm hoping we can get some good stuff out of. Alright, we're going to have to cut this. This room should have a bunch of stuff in it. Alrighty. Data box. Cyclops fire suppression system. Acquired. That is a... <laughs> the Cyclops isn't invincible anymore. It can actually take damage. PRAWN safety instructions appendix A14. Don't climb on your get off equipment while it's moving. 30 seconds. Like, uh, it's not invincible anymore. Unlike it used to be. You could literally drive the Cyclops anywhere, ram it into whatever, and it would... It'd be just fine. But uh, now, there's stuff in the game you have to worry about now. Like, there's fire, there's like a lot more in depth animations with it. Instead of just being a giant tank you just drive around that's absolutely unkillable. Alright. Everything from in here usually just has nothing but, uh... Right, I would cut through that door, but if we actually go around here to the other side... 30 seconds. I am almost 100% sure that door just leads outside and that's another way in. Almost 100% just from memory. But uh, we're going to go down here and see if we can open this door. Go into the wreck a little bit deeper. Alrighty. Uh, okay. Propulsion cannon arm. So this is like the mother load of all prawn suit upgrades. There is everything in here. 
30 seconds. Office chair. This is so annoying having to go back out so often. Acquired. Really annoying. Drink some more of that. Almost as annoying as my braces. Almost. Actually, a lot. It's not even close. These braces are absolute hell. I'm not even to the point from when they hurt. Grappling arm. That's my favorite one right there. I'm not even to the part of braces where they even hurt or ache. 30 seconds. Alright, we're going to have to make this room quick. Actually, we're going to have to come back. There's no way I can make this. I would pull out my sea glass just really hard to maneuver in tight spaces. You just go ramming in everything so quickly. We're going to have to find some food pretty quick. Food's definitely going to be a thing. And we can use this. Um. Alright, so that just leads outside. Which we do not want to do without our sea moth. Definitely do not want to do that. Um, I went the wrong way. Alright, let's go out. I want to go around this other side and make sure my memory is right. Ooh. Engine fragment. Do we have that? Yeah, we do. I actually got that already. Over by the floater island. Yep, there it is. Where is it? Actually, let's get out. I'm going to repair this. Repair our... Uh... I repaired it right before I went in the wreck. So, it's been taking a beating while I've been out here. That would be absolutely horrible if this thing got blown up. Alright. This leads into the room we just came from. I'm pretty sure. Almost 100% sure. No, it doesn't. Wow. More bandages. It couldn't be a nutrient block. Which is something I actually really need. Grappler arm. Awesome. I know that now. Let's go back out and get some air. We'll get some air, then we'll go back into that one room. This thing's already taken a beating again. Jeez. If that thing blows up, we are in serious trouble then. Swim charge fins. That is amazing. With the modification station that we actually have now, we can actually make that. And we can charge our power cells now, which is absolutely amazing. And we have the grapple arm, and we're on our way for the drill arm and propulsion cannon arm. That's the wrong thing. I'm gonna hop out and repair this. Oh my gosh, this thing's close to blowing up. Dude! Leave it alone! That was, we actually could have lost it right there. We could have lost our sea moth. Because of these little a-holes. All right, there's another one. Drill arm, get this. Better not bite me. Ugly SOB, better not bite me. More boxes. Nutrient block, yes, it's right. Perfect what we're needing. Absolutely perfect. Guys, guys just will not let up. There's two more drill arms right there. Jeez. We're going to go back up to the surface. I'm going to get my bearings and we're going to figure out which wreck we're going to be heading to next. Oh, wow. We're actually all the way over by the gun. There's the Aurora. Here's the gun. Um. Okay, so, there's actually a wreck that is right at the base of the gun. And I 
don't think it's one we just came from. I don't think so. Oh, that's eerie. Alrighty, guys, it's getting daytime. And, uh, despite the constant reaper sounds I can hear from down here, and against my better judgment, we're going down deeper. Holy crap. Run. Screw this. Screw it. Honestly, there's a warper, there's a reaper. Screw it. We're not going this wreck. Change my mind. We are going to the, uh, we're, we're going to the, uh, Kush zone. We're going to Kush wreck. Not the Kush, but the Kush. We're going to Kush wreck, 100%. Screw that. N I, I, no, just no. I am not messing with that. I am not dealing with that. I'm not messing with that. I'm not losing my, uh, not losing my ship. I don't want to even be anywhere close to where one is. Because used to, they like spawned on top of you. They would literally spawn on top of you. But uh, we got a little... We already know that. We got a little random wreck here. Mobile vehicle bay. Oh, we know that? I didn't know that. I didn't know that we knew that. Okay then. Picture frame. This isn't the Kushrek, but uh, I guess it'll do. On the way. Ooh. Water. It's something we needed. Vehicle bay, of course. Of course, we know that. We've known that for a long time. Get a little bit of seconds. cutting in before I have to leave. It's down to past 20, I'm going. Alright, let's go. Alrighty. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alrighty. Got some more air. What? behind door number one whenever we actually use a cutter alrighty what's in here battery charger we know that propulsion cannon do not think we well okay maybe we do water what's in here lightweight high capacity air tank that's amazing we get that uh, from putting air tank in the modification station. I think, I think that's what it was. I'm getting a lot of titanium too, just from stuff that I can't remember if we have or not. Let's move our ship a little bit closer. All right. So we come in here. Passing 100 go down. Meters. Oxygen efficiency it just decreased. leads out. So we're going to go... Just while we're here, we're going to get some more air. Then we're going to go down in that really big like elevator shaft. Yeah, we're going to go down in here. Uh, we have that... Data box. Vehicle upgrade console. That's awesome. We put that in the moon pool. What's this? Laser cutter we know. Did they seriously put a laser cutter fragment in a room that you have to have a laser cutter to get into? Game, are you serious right now? 30 seconds. Lord. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Where's the door? Oh shoot. Oxygen. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> that scared me. That really scared me. And there's a sea moth fragment. Is this room we've already been into? I think so. Yeah, we've already been in here. 
Alright, so we got this looked at. Let's go to the one over in the Koof zone. Looks like we found uh, looks like a, another blown into life pod along the way. Of course, we're going to grab the data box and the PDA. Data download and some lead and flares. Another PDA. That's cool. I like that they actually had some stuff in it once. Ah, here we go. Here's the shocky guys. It's shocking I found this place. Oh my god! Don't kill me. Don't hate me. Sorry. I had to make the joke, okay? It had to be said. But we found the wreck. Here we go. Gonna be... This is where usually you would get the grow bed. If you didn't already know it from the other place. Passing 100 meters. Yeah, we're way below Oxygen 100 meters. Alright, we know the light stick, which is pretty much useless, but we know it. Alright. What else is around here that we need to learn? Warning. Scanner and fragment. We already know. It's still in the same spot, too. It's right next to that. Uh, what you call it? Stinking sharks. This thing's actually getting, like, torn up. Power transmitter. Huh. That's neat. Stasis rifle, I think we know. Do we know? There we go. We're actually able to take on Reapers now, fat. Future episode, we're definitely going to be killing the Reaper. So that's what every great Subnautica player needs to do. The once mighty reaper has to be killed at some point in your playthrough. If you ever play this game, please just do it. It's so satisfying. Um, oh god almighty. Oh, heck no. I'm going to die. If I go in there. I may die anyway. Oh my gosh. My serious no. That could not have gone worse. Alrighty guys, I guess I'm going to leave the episode here. We got a lot of blueprints, we accomplished that task. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to leave the episode here. If you did enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Subnautica.